Are you ready for the F1 2019 Road to Redemption Career Mode series with the slowest car of the modern era? This is going to be a challenge. If you want to see pain, misery, suffering and consistently getting lapped, then this career mode is for you. Was joining Williams a good idea? Or just the worst idea and decision I've ever done in my entire F1 2019 career mode history. I mean, with this car, you're looking at it right now, this car does have potential, but it handles like a dog, and even though it handles like a dog, it has the second best engine on the grid. The difficulty on this is 107, but depending on these next couple of races, I might actually change the whole difficulty side of this career mode. As far as qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix, I mean, what do you expect? I mean, we're pretty much last and second last. And I was actually out qualified by George Russell by five temps. Yeah, five temps on 107 AI. That's actually weird, so. Look at the R&D tree, we've actually, we're actually working on some upgrades, but we've got the second best engine on the field, but it's the chassis and the aerodynamics that really let this car down. But if we can, if we can nail and consistently work on the downforce and the chassis of this car, then season two and maybe even season three might be heaven and paradise for us. So enough talking, enough with the R&D. It's time for the Australian Grand Prix. Please hit that like button if you want to see more. I mean, this fair season's going to be absolutely suffering and just getting lapped consistently. We've got two upgrades coming. And hopefully, hopefully, we don't get lapped more than twice. It's time for the first race of the Road to Redemption career mode. New drivers, new cars, it's a new Formula One season. But it's the same Albert Park that we've come to know and love for more than two decades now. The place host to round one of a 21 race championship that takes us from here in Australia, across the globe and the eventual season finale at the Yaz Island circuit in Abu Dhabi. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. We have plenty of changes to the sport this year with tweaks to the regulations, a fresh looking spread of tyre compounds and of course some changes to the roster of car manufacturers. It's goodbye to Sauber and hello once again to the classic name of Alfa Romeo in Formula One. It's also goodbye to Force India, they've been rebranded as Racing Point. Joining me to take you through all the action of the 2019 Formula One season is Anthony Davidson and it's great to have you with us. Thanks Crofty, always happy to be here and I'm looking forward to getting underway. Last year was Mercedes' fifth constructors title in a row, although for the first half of the season it was absolutely neck and neck with the Ferraris. Hopefully this year we can see the chasing pack take that final step, as I'd love to see a championship contest all the way up to the final race in Abu Dhabi. Another story to keep an eye on is the performance of Red Bull, who have switched to the Honda power unit this year. What that will mean for both their performance and reliability remains to be seen. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Gasly, Perez, Hulkenberg, Norris and Roman Grosjean. Weber, Ricardo, Kevin Magnussen, and Sainz, Butler, Stroll, Kimi Raikkonen, and Alexander Albon, Russell, and Thomas. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, new season, and we're starting at the back. Let's see if we can do better in the race. I don't think that's going to happen, yeah, Jeff. I think, like, I don't think we can do better than last and, and second last with this car. I mean. This car does have potential, believe it or not. I mean, yeah, I know it's a quite of a, of a of a of a ridiculous thing to say, considering how slow it is, but it does have potential. I mean, the car looks nice with the white 
and the mirrors and the steering wheel and all that. And it has it has it has got potential. I mean the engine is the second best engine on the grid, but it's the aerodynamics and the downforce that just let us down. If we can just consistently focus and consistently if we can just consistently focus on upgrading the chassis and the downforce, then who knows might what could happen by the end of season one, season two, season three. But we've just gotta focus on this race. And the worst thing is we're starting 20th and 19th. Albon is 18th, and then our rivals are starting behind us, so hopefully, hopefully we can have a decent race, maybe a safety car or two. I mean, the safety car is always one of those things that, that comes out for the Australian Grand Prix. But hopefully, hopefully... Alright, no rain, that's good, but hopefully we can just get better than 19th. Oh, God. Okay, last place on the grid. We have nothing to lose in this race. Alright, here we go. Got 29 laps, I think, of this Australian Grand Prix 5 red lights for the start of the Road to Redemption career mode. It's lights out and away we go. And Albon has had a great start there as we head towards turn one. Russell is ahead of us. Oh, hopefully we can just try and survive this first lap and anything else is a bonus really. As we head towards turn three, we've got George Russell there. It's side by side for the two Williams cars. And Albon looks like he can be there for the taking. He squeezes us there. And bloody hell, man, give us room. Give us room, you prick. Anyway, it's a decent start. We've jumped our teammate. We're on the soft tyres. Actually, no, 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 no. It's not the softs. What am I talking about? It's the mediums. Yeah. 2019 Rex. Yeah, so. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is the mediums, yeah. So we're doing a one... Oh, God. Doing a one-stop as we go down the inside of Alexander Albon and we have our rival, Devin Butler. Hopefully we can catch him and overtake him if we have the pace. Their car is much better in corners than us. Look at that, we have to go to fourth gear that time. Fourth gear in the high, in the high chicane, but looking good so far. Decent exit there, but Alex Albon is all over us. We're slightly catching uh, Butler. I forgot his first name, but our main rival. It's looking decent so far, I think. Oh, wait. There comes Butler. Oh, he's diving down the inside. He pushes us wide. We're going to have the inside line. Hopefully, those three. I think that's Alfa Romeo. Um, a Toro Rosso and a McLaren, I think. Hopefully those three can can battle hard enough to to for us to catch as we lose the back end there. Jeez. This car is very slippy on the rear end. But given a chance, I think it can be very slippy on the straight line speed as well. Oh, again. Again, the rear end is just not there. Yeah, we seem to be really, really competitive on the on the straight line, on the on the straights, but just we just don't have the downforce, and that's what we need to work on for the rest of the season. Albon's gaining speed here. Oh, bit of contact there. I think he's got his the front wing damage. Collision with Albon. Oh, another contact there, and I think he's spun. He's on the grass, and I don't know where he is. I tried to defend. I mean, with this car, I mean, you've got to defend these positions. You can't just let anyone by. So, yeah, we're in 18th. Okay, lap 8. And I'm, I think I'm getting into a rhythm now of, of this car. And, and, yeah, as you can see, Norris... Rojan, drivers with much faster cars than ours are in the pits. The only thing we can do now is just to try and hold them up. The, the, the more we hold them up, I think the better it'll be for our race. Like at this stage, we're that slow, like we just need to do anything. 
like, just defend and stuff. See, we can't even go flat out through there, I mean, that's a corner you take flat out in, like, a Mercedes, or a Ferrari, in, in, in Williams? Haha, <laughs> no. Okay. Oh. Alright, so... Alright, so they're on fresh tyres right now, and we've got four laps to go until our pit stop opens, so... Hopefully, hopefully we can start pushing now, but they're already catching us. I think it might be time to concede defeat over here to the Alfa Romeo and the McLaren. And that's Raikkonen. It's three wide going into turn one. And Norris goes around the outside. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, no Norris. Alright, oh. Webber's coming back though. Oh, is it lock up? Oh no! And I've got damage on my front wing. Ah. You know, before the damage with the front wing, I actually thought this race was going to be promising for us. Like, I'm not saying that we was going to score points or anything, because that's, that's like, impossible in this car. But, like, I was thinking maybe 13th, 14th, maybe 15th, like, maybe 12th, if a safety car comes out. Like, you know, something high without the front wing. But now, that's just cost us so much time, and we're probably going to be behind our teammates. And probably Albon. Alright. Let's just dig down and just try and make something happen. Around the final corner. These laps haven't been the best, but they've been decent. And that's Albon and Russell. So we are back in 18th place. And even with the, the front wing damage. <laughs> Even with the front wing damage, we have not only retained 18th, but we've actually extended it a little bit. We've got 15 laps, 15 laps down. Yes, I know. I know, Jeff. Oh, look at that. 28.3 seconds to freaking Butler. Oh, God. I think this is the moment now where Albon's going to overtake us. Let's just see. He's coming. Yeah, he's gone. There he is. On the inside. I'm going to try and fight back here. Come on, Williams. Use that straight line speed. Around the outside. Oh, we're oh. on the grass. On the grass. This is not good. And we've also lost the place to Russell as well. And now we are officially last place. It cannot be any worse than this, right? Ah, oh, God. We made... We tried to go for a maneuver around the outside. We just broke too late. And we not only lost one position, we lost both, so... <sighs> Well, we're last place, we're probably going to be lapped, and you know what, we've just, just under 10 laps to go, I've decided that I'm going to retire from the race, first retirement from the season, not the way I wanted to end this first race, but I think as far as the long run, it might help. Ferrari have really pulled it out of the bag today. It's a great win. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again.
So Sebastian Vettel wins the Australian Grand Prix, Bottas in second, Verstappen in fifth, Perez in seventh and we're last. I mean we did show pace a little bit, we've got Albon as well, the undercut as well, but it just was not a weekend today, just was not a weekend and uh, yeah, on to the next weekend. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. That crash looked pretty serious. Can you walk me through what happened? It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Well, thanks anyway. So that wasn't the start I was looking for, uh, 19th and 20th for qualifying and in the race we, we, we DNF'd and to end this episode we're going to do the uh, check, checkpoint challenge in the 2008 McLaren just to end this episode on a high um, plus um, George Russell is also involved as well so yeah let's end this episode on a high if you did enjoy this video please hit the like button I want to aim 30 likes on this video and if you want to see like I said in the beginning more pain more suffering and just absolute slowness then make sure you subscribe to this channel for more hopefully daily F1 2019 content I'm planning on doing more uh, career mode races um, online as well I'm, tr I'm gonna try and get that get some uh, online series going also league racing that's gonna start soon so yeah big times for the channel and hopefully you can all be a part of it so Thanks for watching, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe, share as well all over social media and laugh, make a meme out of it, do whatever you need to do because we ain't going anywhere yet, uh, the only, and honestly, there's only one way we can go and that's up, so thanks for watching, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video, goodbye.